Hi, welcome to episode 60 of the Stress Tits podcast. I'm Stacy, also known as Stacy Elston on Instagram and Stress Tits on Ravelry. It is the third time I've tried to record this because um, the first time I messed up and said the <laughs> name of our daughter, which is a su supposed to be a surprise. Some people know, but not a lot of people. Um, and then uh, the second time Esther was getting a little rowdy because she wanted some water. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, so it is nice and toasty in my apartment. It's a balmy 75 degrees because our air conditioning is broken. But I have all the windows open, which is really nice right now because it's really windy outside. Um, I live in Metro Detroit. Um, so, I don't know, we get really windy days like this in the spring. But, I mean, gusts are up to 65 miles an hour right now, so it's, it's, a, little, it's a little nuts. But it's really nice. Um, I also feel like a whale today. I'm really out of breath for no reason because I'm 28 weeks pregnant, which is nuts. I didn't think I'd get here, but I put this oversized shirt on because I feel like a whale. And I don't know why, but oversized clothes make me feel like less of a whale. I don't know, but I have a good like 30, 40 extra pounds on me right now. And it's just being crazy again. Hey, what are you doing? Um. <laughs> So, um, I feel like I just did this because I just did it twice <sighs> and I'm really out of breath. <laughs> so, um, I just must say that I am not somebody that enjoys pregnancy. One, because both of my pregnancies have been awful and <laughs> two, it's just, it's rough. And I'm very jealous of people that really love being pregnant because I do not enjoy it. Um, but I only have a few weeks left. By a few weeks, I mean like 10. But, um, can't come soon enough. Okay. And then she's like sitting on my lungs right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, anyway. I have iced coffee, so I'm gonna drink some and recoup. Also, it's allergy season. I don't know if I just said that, um, but it's allergy season, so I'm kind of really red because I'm really stuffy and can't really take a lot for it right now, so I have to suffer a little bit, which is fine. I'm cool with. <sighs> I'm actually really happy today and really enjoying life, but, um, yeah, starting over three times and I don't know what I've said or didn't say because my brain is not working. <laughs> so we're going to try this, see how it goes, but I have some stuff, but before that, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched the last podcast, um, where I literally just rambled about how horrible my pregnancy has been so far. Um, if you're curious, go ahead and watch that. I'm not going to get into it anymore because, um, the last two doctor visits I've had, one was yesterday, have been nothing but good news, which is, I can't even tell you how weird it was. Doug and I walked out of, um, my OB, my regular OB's office yesterday because I had my glucose tested at checkup and like I gained weight, which was really exciting <laughs> because... I just started gaining weight the appointment um, before that. So that was super exciting. And then, um, yeah, so I gained weight and uh, my doctor is no longer really concerned because everything looks really good. As long as the baby continues to grow, they have nothing that they're worried about. My blood pressure is really good. Um, yeah, so it, it's just, it's really weird after months of hearing nothing but bad news that everything's fine now. Um, so I'm like on cloud nine and so is Doug. 
who's my husband, if you're new. Also, if you're new, hi, hi. <laughs> I am always a mess. Um, but, and I don't edit or anything because I film on my iPhone. And one day, I say this all the time, but one day I'm gonna have Doug teach me how to use his camera because he's a filmmaker, photographer, human being. And um, I'm gonna have him teach me how to do it and how to edit so that my podcast is actually really nice. But this is just real life. I just is what it is. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But like we're in, re I'm in a really good mood. Doug's birthday is Monday. I don't know what Esther's eating. Might be a bug. Esther. It's not a bug. One second. No. The wind is blowing things down, so she had a piece of an earbud. Okay. Anything fall? I don't think so. I'm just going to take some iced coffee. Yeah, but I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched the last podcast and gave me nothing but love and support. And even people um, that had to deal with like my business side of stuff, which was awful and horrible. <laughs> um, just how I dealt with it. Um, even people that were like frustrated were like, totally understand. Like it sucked, but totally get it. And I was just, I can't tell you how much it means to me. So, um, yeah. It means a lot. So I'll actually talk about Stress Knits, the yarn company, at the end of the podcast. But, yeah. So, with that, I have a finished object. I finished my newborn vertebrae. I don't know why I think it's by Kelly McClure. But, um, I think it is. Uh, it's the person who designs all the vertebrae. Um, patterns. I've knit a mama vertebrae and a few newborn vertebrae. Um, I made some adjustments. So one, this isn't blocked yet. If you can't tell the, um, this will come down and not look like this. Um, so I added a few extra increases to make it a little bit bigger. I also knit it on a size US 4 instead of a two, um, just to make it a little looser because my baby is going to be born sometime in July. Um, the due date, let's talk about it. The due date is July 25th, but because they don't want me going full term, um, it could come as, she could come as early as um, July 4th, which is really exciting. Um, so as early as July 4th to be full term. So we're, so we're aiming for July 4th or after, because it'll be 37 weeks. So, um, yeah, so she's going to be a summer baby, and I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I keep joking around about how she's literally just going to be in diapers and nothing else for the first month of her life, because August, July and August are the hottest months ever, I mean everywhere, um, in the northern hemisphere, but... <laughs> in Michigan, the humidity is just so gross. I mean, it has nothing on when I lived in West Virginia for college. It has nothing on that. But it's still so gross. I hate it. I hate summer. I hate it. <sighs> yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so I did a few extra increases, knitted on a looser gauge, and made it short sleeves. Short sleeved. Um, one, because I didn't have enough yarn, and two, because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, and I just wanted it to be done. I just wanted to have at least one sweater for her when she gets here. <sighs> and to, like, hang up in her closet, because we're working on the nursery right now, which is just making my heart melt. All we really have to do is move all of my furniture out, because that was my office. Um, yeah, so we just have to move out my yarn stash and the cabinet that, like, all of my bear yarn's on and put it somewhere. My my assumption, we have uh, 
So we moved my desk out already and Doug's stuff is on my desk. And then we just have like his desk that's just Catch-22 right now. Um, I'm gonna try to convince him to throw it away because it's literally just built out of pallets. It's three pallets, like one and then one on each side. I hate it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to convince him to just throw that out and put my big hutch over here fingers crossed uh, but literally that's all we have to do and then throw a bunch of stuff away and donate a bunch of stuff from the closet that's been used as storage since Doug moved in like two years ago so oh, that's my dog Esther so and then we just have to paint I'm so excited so Esther please don't eat that hi Um, yeah, so I'm just really excited because we didn't really want to do the nursery super early just because we didn't know how this pregnancy was going to go. But now that we're in the third trimester and there's 90% uh, viability right now, which is the most exciting thing ever, um, I don't know, it just it feels more like it's actually going to happen, less like something bad's going to happen. So get ready and also my wedding my wedding my baby shower is may 20th so we need to get that ready so that once the shower happens we can just move everything in so hopefully this next week we can just get that all cleared out which by the way <laughs> i'm all over the place it's fine this is no structure because it's me um I am de-stashing a bunch of yarn, <laughs> which kind of breaks my heart, but is also, um, it's just necessary because there's not a lot of room anymore. Since that room is not going to be like my craft room office area, my stash needs to be small and contained. So um, I'm de-stashing a bunch of yarn. I'm going to have one Ravelry, uh, it's going to be on my Ravelry page, it's Stress Knits. And um, I will have a picture of all of the yarn and then I will have it listed in the description of the company, the base, the colorway, and the price. Um, nothing should really be over like $28, $29. Cause I mean, I have some bowl and vine that's going in the tea stash which breaks my heart. Esther, babe, hey, don't eat the sewing machine. Um, yeah, which breaks my heart but um it just it is what it is and so to give you an idea of how small my stash is right now because I pulled all the stuff out um that I really need to get rid of just to make room and I have like a six cubby system and five of them housed yarn and now only two do hey what? She's in the corner just digging at the wall. Esther, want your bone? Do you want your bone? Come here. Come here. Yeah, eat that. Good girl. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just nuts right now. Um, yeah, so I just have to get rid of some stuff. There also might be some project bags. I'm not sure yet. I'm just looking because I see the pile of yarn and some of it just makes me so sad. But there's um, Volan Vine, Machete Shop, Knox Yarn, Woolen Boon, all that kind of stuff. So that should be um, up by tomorrow. And that's first come, first serve. I'm going to the post office Monday because I have a bunch of packages I need to ship. Um, from all the way back in December for Get Your Yarn Which Is Granted. Yep, I'm that late, guys. That's how awful everything's been. I still have two packages to send out for that, and I've apologized profusely to these people. But um, I have a few packages to get out, and um, so I will be going to the post office Monday. So, yeah, so look out for that. Anyway, um, 
Who's her gauge? Short sleeves. Um, I did the I cord bind off everywhere. Um, I changed this to garter instead of um, one by one rib and short sleeves. And that's what I did for this. This is knit out of Stress Knits yarn in the My Jam colorway, which is my favorite color that I dye. Um, yeah, sometimes it comes out a little bit darker than this just because I don't know why, but even if I put the exact same amount of stuff in it, sometimes it just comes out darker, sometimes it comes out like this. So it just really depends on the dye lot. And that's very color accurate. But this was um, leftovers from my What the Fade that I knit last year. And I love it. It's on my singles base. Yeah. So I really love it. It's nice and soft and wonderful. It makes me, I'm so excited to see my little babe in this. So there is finished object. My only finished object. I do have a half finished object which is this. So um, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are going to Maryland Sheep and Wool and it's making me have uh, knitting event withdrawals because I haven't been to anything. I mean, granted, I got to go to Rhinebeck last year, which was the coolest and most amazing experience of my life because I got to meet, um, meet some amazing people and see my two best knitting friends, uh, Jacqueline and Julie. And so I made a colorway um, called Sweet Stress Folk for the three of us. Um, and I knit, I started these at Rhinebeck with them. So, so I just wanted to knit on this because I was really kind of bummed that I'm not gonna be able to go into anything for a while. Because, uh, so I was gonna go to Vogue Knitting Live in New York um, this past January. But because I was pregnant, um, being on a plane with all of the horrible morning sickness um, and all of that, um, and that's when we also started getting all of the bad news was um, was in January. So it just didn't work out. <laughs> and so I was really bummed because there were, there were so many people I wanted to see there. But yeah, that's true. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I couldn't go. And then Rhinebeck this year, which I thought about going to, <coughs> excuse me, so I felt like that'd be fun, like, for Doug and I and our daughter to go and just walk around, see animals and all that jazz, even though she'd be tiny and wouldn't know what's happening, but that'd be a nice little family thing, but, um, my best friend's wedding is that weekend, so that's more important. So I'm not going to Rhinebeck this year, which really bums me out. And that also made me want to pull these out. And then, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to go to Vogue Nang Live this year, or next year, 2019. That's that's the hope. You know, it would just be me. Like, I'm not dragging my, what, she'll be six or seven months at that time. Not doing that in New York. I do not want to travel with a stroller. So it would just be me and then Doug and the daughter can have um, some quality time. Don't, don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> um, she was chewing her gross bone on my quilt top. So uh, yeah, so I pulled out this whip and I was about here when I picked it up yesterday and just finished the foot and I'm really lucky to have tiny feet because <sighs> otherwise this would not have gotten done so fast. I have a US size five and a half foot. Um, this is Hermione Everyday Sock. It's one of my favorite texture patterns. Super intuitive. Really, really cozy when it's on. Uh, two by two rib and reinforced heel flap and gusset, which are my go-tos. Fit my foot the best. So yeah, this is Stress Knits Yarn in Sweet Stress Folk. That's really color accurate. It's a blushy pink with um, some chartreuse and mint thrown in. So there's that. And then I started sock number two, 
just today while I was watching Superstore. That's true. Um, so yeah, just a few rows in. Um, I'm naming these on US 1 Licka Needles. We all know what they are. Um, I bought a pair just because the hype, <laughs> right? We all do it to try them. I don't get it, but I like them for sock knitting sometimes. Sometimes it's just, it feels really good. I don't know. I would never buy, I don't think I'd ever buy more, but I like having one pair. Um, this is the cake and kids just got off a school bus. So if it's loud, that's what's going on. But there is that. Um, yeah, I'm just, my knitting mojo is really coming back. I have not wanted to knit socks or even look at socks for a while, but then I remembered this pair and it just made me really happy. So I cast that on. Then I cast on my Nilla the Unicorn. I only have a head because I hate toy knitting, but I, my daughter needs a unicorn in her life, right? So here she is, Nilla the Unicorn, uh, knit out of um, Knit Picks Stroll in white and Volan Vine in Jilted Rose, which is the best colorway ever. <sighs> this is my last skein of it, and I'm so sad. <laughs> so sad. I just want all of the things in Jilted Rose. It's on her blitz space. Um, it's gorgeous. But yeah, cute little safety eyes. This will sit on a shelf somewhere. But I still have to do. <laughs> she doesn't like when people are outside either. Um, still have to do everything else, like the uh, horn and ears. But again, I hate toy knitting, even though it's really fast. Just don't want to do it. So that will be slow but steady. <laughs> it is living in my fawn and the fox project bag which is my one of my favorites I this is always in use always I love it so much so I'm saying so a lot sorry <laughs> there's that and then I have one more thing that I'm working on um, but I don't know I'm kind of slowed down on it because she's not going to be able to wear this for a while this is the Flax Light Sweater by Tin Can Knits. I also might sneeze here in a second. <sighs> Allergies, man. Not fun. So, I need to stop saying so. The Flax Light by Tin Can Knits. Yeah. It's knit out of Wool and Boon in Buffy, which is my favorite Wool and Boon colorway. Yeah. Uh, knit on a US 6. Which again helps, I don't know, I just really like loose gauges for baby sweaters. I don't know why. Um, once I start knitting size one and up, it'll be at a normal gauge, but I think I went up one or two needle sizes for this. I just, I don't know, I just really like that there's breathability in it. I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. I think this is the last one I'm going to knit for her for a little bit. Um, I'm obviously going to knit her more, <laughs> but um, I need to knit my sister, uh, my sister's baby, a sweater and a stuffy. So I have two older sisters. I don't know if I already said this. Um, I don't think so. I think it was one of the last times I was trying to record, but um, I have two older sisters. One of them had their baby in... January, Avery, my nephew, and the second one, our middle sister, is having her baby, a baby boy, in June, so next month. So I have a month to knit a sweater and a stuffy, and then my sister-in-law is having a baby this month, so I have to knit them a sweater, and um, yeah, so it's just your babies, guys. It's wonderful. I love that our daughter is going to have cousins so close in age. It's great. Um, yeah, but Tin Can Knits, um, I'm knitting 
the sleeves on my carbons interchangeables which I love yeah I don't know just makes me really happy I hate sleeve knitting though even if it's just a baby sweater um, I don't think these will be full length though I think it's gonna be three quarters so I only have a few more inches to go should really just knock it out but I want to knit other things so that's all I've been working on and I say all this has literally been six days since I talked to you guys last but I feel really productive right now um, all I want to do is knit and sew things for the baby but at the same time I really have a craving to knit a shawl I don't know why um, I mentioned Vertices Unite last time, but I don't think I have the color palette I want for that. I might just dye it, if we're being honest. Um, my leg is asleep. Um, so I might do that, but then I also really want to knit a Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. And um, everybody is dyeing mohair right now, and I kind of want to dye some mohair because it looks amazing. <laughs> so that might be happening <laughs> because I really want a birds of a feather shawl. Um, who was I watching? I was watching Amy of the Stranded Dye Works podcast, um, and she was wearing her birds of a feather. <sighs> It's gorgeous, so that might be one of the next things I cast on. Because I also, when I go into labor, I have this idea in my head that I'm going to be able to knit. My leg is so asleep right now, it's so tingly and it hurts. <sighs> oh, just bear with me for a second while I just try to get through this. It's so asleep. <laughs> Please stop sitting on my legs. Um, <laughs> but I just have this idea in my head that I'm going to be able to knit while I'm in labor, which is stupid because I'm probably going to be in a lot of pain. Probably. I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Esther hit my leg. Um, it's so asleep. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just want something... That's really easy. A lot of garter stitch, maybe some eyelets. I'm cool with eyelets and feather and fan, just something simple that I can, at least in the early stages, um, go with the flow. You know, uh, knitting calms me down. It's something I do when I'm stressed out, which is why this is called stress knits. Um, when I was in college, I would stress knit like crazy and just knock things out. <laughs> so that's why. This is called stress knits because that's how I knit. Um, yeah, so birds of a feather might be happening. I've also been thinking about doing another find your fade, but out of all stress knits yarn, because my first find your fade, which I love and I wear all the time, is um, just knit out of my all of my favorite skeins from all my favorite dyers, and so I think I want to do one out of all stress knits yarn, but. <laughs> The issue with that is, is I will just want to do a mint to blush gradient because that's what I love. So, gotta think about that. But I just want something large and simple to knit on in labor and then when, like, we have visitors and stuff at the hospital. And again, I'm probably not going to touch anything when I'm in the hospital, but just in case, right? Just in case. So... Yeah, I just want to knit things, and I've already mentioned, I mentioned this last week, but I don't want to knit sweaters right now because I am just not my size. And granted, I had weight from the first pregnancy when I started this time, and also just some, like, depression weight. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty bad right now, but I'm pregnant, like, I'm pregnant, I understand. That that's what's supposed to happen. Um, oh, and I'm short, so it's just filling out everywhere. And I have like a double chin now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining because I love, 
I'm so excited that I'm having this baby, but my body is just not enjoying it. Um, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, I have sewing, <laughs> is what I was going to say. So, I have always wanted to learn how to sew. And I got this fabric <sighs> almost a year ago, I want to say. And I had every intention of making a quilt along with Jacqueline of the Brooklyn Knit Folk. Excuse me. Uh, she did a quilt along and I had every intention of participating, but then life just happened and then and then I got pregnant and then it just never happened. But when we found out it was a girl, I was like, I have fabric to make our babe a quilt. So I mean, I did have fabric to make a quilt if it was a boy as well, but I just, if you know me, I love floral. So I was really excited that I got to use my Rifle Paper Company fabric. <laughs> so I finished the quilt top um, and it's far from perfect. <laughs> and it's really wrinkly, I need to iron it, but so it is long, it's um, seven squares across, I think 11 rows, but I have this. So all I need to do is go buy the um, batting and a sheet for the back and uh, some binding. That's all I gotta do. I, I love it so much. This is, <laughs> it's perfect. It's gonna fit right out the nursery. Um, the nursery is mostly gonna be gray and white because that's what we like. And then with some blush thrown in and I just love mint. So uh, mint had to be in there, but alignment is very off. <laughs> um, there are some squares that we find a bad place because I am all about and it's all bad but there's one that's so obnoxious oh here it is like yikes <laughs> but um, this is my first quilt it's really the first thing I've sewn I've done a project bag which is okay um, it's holding a bunch of scraps right now. Um, it serves its purpose. It's a bag. Um, but yeah, this is really the first big thing that I've done. And I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm really, really proud of it. But I'm still using Jacqueline's, um, quilt along tutorial video, whatever. Um, to help me because I trust her um, yeah so it's really cool I also I I'm just I want to sew all of the baby things right now um, I'm going to buy some double gauze and make some muslin blankets too because all you really have to do is seam them or hem them why would I not do that so yeah so sewing might become a part of this podcast, which is weird because I always wanted to get there, never thought I would. Again, it's something I'm going to do for myself much more when I am back to my normal size where I want to be. Um, so I feel like next spring and summer I will be, I'll be cooking. I'll be doing it. Yeah, so this is uh, Cotton and Steel Fabrics, Rifle Paper Company. I love it. <laughs> love it so much. Um, yeah, thank you all for your kind words about it too. It meant a lot. I have been doing a lot of Instagram stories lately. Um, I don't know why, but it's just, it's been fun. So I put this up on my Instagram story and everybody was saying nice things about it. So thank you. So there is that. So, ah, I need to stop saying so. I'm sorry, that's probably really annoying.
that's really all the content that I have. I've talked about um, stuff I want to cast on. Um, I don't know, I'm in this weird holding pattern. I don't know why. Um, probably because my Yarn Swift and Ball Winder are, they're not um, out like they usually are. So I have to like set everything up. It's not fun to wind yarn right now. But um, I have not bought yarn since November, which is nuts. But at the same time, I wasn't knitting. <laughs> um, but I'm starting to get the itch to buy yarn, which is not good. Um, which is one of the reasons I kind of want to de-stash just in case I see something that I really love. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't know, it's just really weird. But I also really want to start knitting with my own yarn more because I love it. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but I really just have this urge to knit with my own yarn. So I put aside... Um, a skein or two from what I just dyed. Oh, I'm going to move into Stress Knits Yarn talk for a little bit. Um, so if you're not interested, totally cool. I will see you next week. I think I'm going to start uploading on Fridays. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to try to do this once a week until probably July. So, so thank you for watching. If you're not interested in my company, cool. I'll see you next time. And if you are, um, let's talk about it. So I'm gonna grab coffee because I have a tickle in my throat. Hi, it's you. Yeah, I dyed a bunch of yarn last week and um, I just wanna put this out there. So uh, because I closed my Etsy shop, I have like no access to see what orders are still open and not. So if you have an open order with me, take a screenshot of it still being open and um, send it to me on Ravelry just because that's what I want to check right now because Instagram, I don't always check messages from people I don't know. It's just I don't like it because I've been getting weird messages and I just don't like checking it. Um, so message me on Ravelry, which is Stress Knits, and uh, send the picture of your order being open, and um, yeah, <laughs> and then I'll get that out to you by Monday, um, if you send it before Monday, um, because I still have all of the printing labels, the shipping labels, the printing labels, still have all the shipping labels um, saved on my computer, so I can do that really easily. And um, yeah, so just let me know because I am opening up a new store. So I wanted to get away from Etsy for a while. There's some stuff that's not my favorite about Etsy and I just really wanted my um, website to look more branded, which is stupid, but um, yeah, so my husband is making a website. Hopefully it'll be up by the end of the month. That's the goal right now. Um, yeah, that's the goal because I'm coming up on two years of dying. Full, not full time. <laughs> I'm coming up on two years of dying yarn, which is crazy because I never thought it would go, it would be like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm loud. Esther's trying to sleep. Um, yeah, so that is in June, I think is my anniversary. But I really want to have at least one shop update before I have the baby because I'm going to take another break once I give birth, um, probably until August, September-ish. That's the, that's the goal right now because I am staying at home. Um, I mentioned this last podcast, but I had to quit my job for safety reasons while I'm pregnant. And it just makes more sense 
for me to stay at home because if we did daycare I would literally just be working to afford daycare so it just uh, I don't want to work just to put my kid in daycare so I would rather just stay home uh, for right now so I but I I don't like sitting still <laughs> very much um, and I know I won't be once the baby's here but like right now I've been going nuts because I wasn't knitting, I wasn't dying, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> so, um, and I'm not really allowed to work out or do anything active. I'm allowed to like walk, but that's not fun. So I take Esther on walks, but you know, <laughs> she's a pug. She doesn't really like going on walks. So, <laughs> no, I've just been going stir crazy, but finally dying yarn and I have 30-ish more skeins to die, so it's going to be a really big update when the store launches. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. So's Doug. Um, I'm excited to have something to do now and when the baby's here. Um, but again, it's going to, there's going to be a break. I don't know what my headband's doing. There's going to be a break because... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna need one after I give birth. So, yeah, I'm super excited to get back to stress knits though. I, I felt like a part of me was missing, but I was also towards the end there, like feeling really uninspired, really just down on myself and the whole thing. And, um, yeah, so I just, I feel refreshed. I feel excited and yeah because I finally am out of the um the place of make things people want I've talked about this before but I am finally in the I'm going to make what I really like and um and if people don't like it it's fine because then I'll use it that's really just kind of where I am so it, I don't know. I'm really excited about it. I have some new colorways coming out that I will show before the store launches. Um, yeah, so I will keep you updated on that. We'll see how it goes. I think, I think that's it. That's it. So I will leave you here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.